I didn't think I'd finish it so fast, but I did in the same day. This is the book I'm reviewing. It's called Snow in Summer, Fairest of Them All by Jane Yolen. Okay. First off, let me say, I found this book and I've never heard of it before. I give it five out of five. It is a retelling of Snow White, which is probably pretty obvious from the title. However, it is set in West Virginia, which means it has a soft spot in my heart. <clears throat> but the retelling is just absolutely wonderful. Like, I mean, it's nothing like the other one. I mean, you know, like regular Snow White retellings. I mean, you still, you know, you still have the apple and things like that. But, I mean, this, it was like, she really did a lot of research, too. Because, let me tell you, a lot of people don't know it, but we are, like, one of the only states that allow snake worshipping. Um, and it's simply because West Virginians think that you should be allowed to worship in your own way because that's why we came to the United States in the first place. Um, snake worshipping was a um, bit of this book. Also, like, here, there are, like, superstitions that you hear a lot, like, don't sew on a Sunday and things like that. Um, and she puts a lot, like, there are like a lot of folk, there's a lot of folklore here too. And, um, honestly, I just could not believe how accurate this book was. Um, you hear about, uh, cities and towns in West Virginia that are here. And I can assure you of that. There are not a lot of, um, fictional place. And I kind of like that she, um, put it in there. Um, but it was just amazing. I'm trying to find when it was written. Um, okay, this is a division of the Penguins Young Readers Glow, uh, group. Blech. And it was published in 2011. So, it's not like a really old book, and I seriously suggest that you guys read this, because it was amazing. I would try to get it off um, Amazon. You could probably even order this from... You could probably even order this from, uh, like, bookstores, because it is an imprint of Penguin. It's probably pretty easy to order. It's called Snow and Summer by Jane Yolen, and it is amazing. Um... Let me think if I can compare it to somebody. Okay, everybody likes Alex Flynn, the author of Beastly. This is way better. Okay, way better. Um, there's a lot of research in this book. And a lot of... It's just, it's a really good fantasy book. That's all I can say. I mean, it is amazing. I mean, I read a lot, and if I can't get into it, like, if I don't like a book, I can't read it. Like, I just can't finish it. I can try to make myself, or I can, like, try, like, a year later to go back and read it once I'm a bit older or something. Because now that did happen with the Vampire Chronicles. I had to stop on Mim Knock the Devil because I couldn't get through it. But then, like, a year later, I could get through it. This is a good book for... <clears throat> It's probably like young adult. It's probably like a young adult book. But it's really, really good. Um, it does deal with a couple of things that <clears throat> are a little adult-like in nature. But it's not like really out there with it. Um, it's seriously, though, I mean... And, you know, I think it's like set... Well, it mentions a car. So it's not like sitting like medieval ages. Ooh. And the dwarves are not really dwarves. They're little German miners. Not coal miners, miners. They're like finding like gemstones in the earth. That's the only inaccuracy that I think I've ever heard of because I don't really think that you can mine gemstones in West Virginia. They don't exist. But there is mining in it. And, um... 
There's hunting. There is a lot of West Virginia, like, heritage in this. <clears throat> like, it mentions, like, hand-sewn um, quilts, and it talks about, there was um, a part in there that mentioned home canned apples and growing a garden and things like that. And it's really accurate, because a lot of people still do that here. Me, for example, I still can my own jam and green beans and all that good stuff. Country girl. <laughs> but anyway, it's, uh, it's really amazing. The ending is totally different from Snow White, which does not mean that she dies. Okay? She lives. So, read the book, but, um... Because, I mean, I think with a retelling, spoilers aren't exactly... Because, I mean, you know what's going to happen, ultimately. But the ending is just way different. Like, in Snow White, she bites the apple, and there she is, and Prince Charming kisses her, and she comes back to life. It's totally different. It's totally different. So, you need to read it. You really, really do. So, yes, this is an excellent book. Snow and Summer. Buy it. Read it. Let me know what you think. And if you've heard of it before, let me know because I haven't heard of it. So, like, comment, and subscribe and tell me what you thought about Snow and Summer.